on standby. Friendly UAV inbound. How's it going guys, it's Rich and welcome to a sniping gameplay on free for all on hijack that I got yesterday and the reason I was sniping free for all with non-lethal killstreaks is because I was playing free for all trying to get the nuked out medal or the title or whatever it is and it just wasn't working. I went on a 17 gun streak pretty quickly in free for all, got my VSAT called in and everything like that and everyone but like three people quit and it was on Yemen and everyone was just camping and my VSAT ran out and then I died to like some stupid equipment. I got really frustrated in the end and I just kind of gave up and I, I decided to pull out the sniper rifle, see how well I could do because one of my favourite things to do in past Call of Duties was going to uh, go into a free for all setting, pull out the sniper, uh, use non-lethal killstreaks and see how well I could do and in, in games like Modern Warfare 2 I'd use like the UAV, the Cam 2 UAV and the Predator and I'd keep the Predator uh, just in case people called in like a you know an attack helicopter or whatever it is or a chopper gun I could use the Predator to you know, take out their kill streaks, and that's all I'd use it for. Is it my phone? Low battery. Of course, it's not a text because no one likes me. But moving on, if you haven't noticed already, this gameplay, I'm using the Diamond Blister. Uh, there it is in all of its glory with a ballistic CPU and fast mags, I believe. I do hit some nice shots, I do miss some ridiculously easy shots. That was a nice shot right there. A headshot through the wall on my man Howald. I don't know why I decided to say his name. But he got a headshot through the wall, that was a pretty good shot, and that one's a pretty nice shot as well. And the secondary of choice is gameplay, is the diamonds camouflage again, because I am just two swag, four words right now, uh, is the B23R in diamond camo as well. So there you go, there's the killstreaks in the bottom right, if you didn't know, uh, the, the UIV, the orbital visa, and the EMP. And that's all you really need to know for this, I do skip the gameplay a few times here and there, just because uh, it gets pretty boring for around a minute or so, so I decided to uh, spare you guys some painful viewing of me just running around for a bit looking for people and I you know I just decided to cut it out instead and uh, anyway if you're active on Twitter or you watch a lot of YouTube videos on Call of Duty from commentators that go for like high scores like I do uh, a lot of the time you may have realized or noticed that a lot of people on Twitter complain about how snipers are overpowered in this game and they're too easy to use and whatever and I, I sort of disagree but I, I can see the problem in them in my opinion uh, one of the few problems that the snipers have in this game is the, the flinch. The flinch is non-existent. You can put bullets into snipers and even without toughness, if they're zoomed in, it's not going to do anything. And I think the, the problem that people see with it is because the snipers are a one-shot kill a lot of the time, you know, a lot of the time the blister does uh, hit marker people as you see in this gameplay, but because they're a one-shot kill along with the shotguns, when people die to them, uh, I know this is how I feel as well, it, it feels like there's nothing else you could have done to survive and that makes you feel like they're overpowered and then when you try to use them you realize that they're not really overpowered so uh, in my opinion if they were to patch the the snipers in this game i would only hope that they patch the the, the flinch uh, and add more flinch to the snipers because as i said you can be hitting snipers with bullets uh, from a submachine gun and they'll they won't really flinch that much and they'll, they'll kill you and you'll look at the kill cam like what really you were able to do that when i was shooting you and it is kind of ridiculous but in my opinion they are not overpowered. If you guys have any opinions on the matter, be sure to leave a comment down below. I do read all of my comments and I read all of my PMs and everything like I said in the previous commentary. Uh, you know, contrary to popular belief, last time I said that I got loads of personal messages saying, you're probably not reading this, I I'm not sure if you were telling the truth or not, but I did read every single one, although I do not reply to every single one because a lot of them are very similar messages. I'm going off on a complete tangent right now. So anyway, uh, this gameplay, if, if you would like to see more gameplays very similar to this one where I, I just go into a either a free-for-all setting or whatever it may be, like a TDM or a grand war setting, and just use non-lethal killstreaks, see how I perform, not really concentrate on the final score, but just try to have some nice shots and try to try to bring you guys some entertaining gameplay. If that's something you guys are interested in, rather than seeing all of these 100 pluses that people upload, I was about to say that I upload, but I don't upload that many. I've only had like three and like a 99 kill game, so <laughs> whatever. Anyway, if you guys would like to see more sniping gameplay where I don't really care about the final score too much, be sure to leave a comment and I will definitely try to do that. I am trying to bring some new things to the channel uh, as I've mentioned in previous commentaries. It's so not going to go over them again. And this part of the gameplay, there's me failing, hitting a C4 that's not even moving, of course. So, uh, a bit of a foul shot right there. But anyway, uh, it's a bit of a shame that I managed to get the, you know, all of my kill streaks at the end of the game. So, I couldn't really take advantage of them. I've got the EMP here, call it in and then kill the last guy. So, I never really got to use my VSAT too much. But anyway, if you guys liked this video, be sure to leave a like rating, possibly a favourite. And I will speak to you all tomorrow with another one. So, thanks for watching. See you then. Mm, bye.